I just love how they did the build up last episode. Like Horty Jones is. I was expecting like, oh, I don't know. Like he's secretly royal family or like secretly a human somehow. No, nah, he's just, he's, he's evil. He doesn't care. I don't know. I still haven't figured it out. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster Ice Shinobi. I'm reacting to more One Piece today. We're in the, the climax of Fishman Island. Let's get back into it. Drop a fat like on this one and uh, hop in. It's, uh, it's gonna take me a while to figure it out. I kind of get the overarching theme, but it's just confusing. He's just straight up pure evil. 87%. How long does it take to blow this bubble? I mean, this is actually critical now because it gives them more time to figure out what to do with Noah and slows it down. But not with Horty this juice, bro. I'm shocked he isn't able to catch up to her. He's fully juiced. Oh my god. What the? Oh, oh. We get more reasoning. Backstory. Oh, shoot. Who is talking to him? Is that an apple? Looks like a tomato. Oh, wait, hold on. Last episode might might start to kind of collide. Dude, the sounds in the background are so creepy. This is what I meant by like a product of his environment from such an early age. But last episode kind of confused all that. Oh my gosh, it's him and his squid friend that he lost. Sag. He blew up the human shop. Right away, yeah. Was told what to like what to see people as that did that kind of stuff. Straight up product of his environment. So he was supposed to see him as a hero. So it embedded in him. See, it is kind of reiterating that though. But even though last episode it didn't. I don't know. He's like, serves you right, even though he doesn't, doesn't even really know what he's saying. They were shown that they should see that as cool. Oh, we're getting more. I'm surprised we're getting this this more more of this sort of backstory. It's cool. I guess it clears things up too. Yeah, so it was Arlong that kind of said the motion. Ah, he's hearing Arlong's word. Damn, bro. Oh, that voice. Arlong created Horty Jones, inherently. He kept this cycle of pain going, this cycle of hatred. It was for history. It wasn't for something he directly experienced. But at the same time, his brothers and sisters experienced it. So I don't understand that. Yeah. Oh, He's different. But as soon as he heard something like that, he just, he booked it. Yep. It wasn't what he believed or was told to believe. Remember, Horty. Dude, it makes me sad that Arlong wasn't a part of all this arc. I don't know where he is. If he's in like in jail somewhere or something, but it would have added so much, I feel like. Because he created this monster. So what happened as soon as Tiger died down here? Chosen hero? Oh, to like save all of the fishmen? Oh. What the? What kind of BDSM stuff is this? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, are they the fish KKK? Jesus! The purity of the fishmen. That's why I set up the whole blood transfusion thing so early on in the arc with Sanji. Came full circle. The, they 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 deemed him to be the hero, one that wouldn't falter. So it was no longer about any of that. That's why he killed Otohime. It wasn't about what the humans did. It was about what he was told to carry on. No matter what she ever had done, it wouldn't have mattered. Forty was dead set on this path. And it wasn't just because of it. It's not one thing or the other. It's both his environment and what he was told. I get it now. It all makes sense. It all, it all connects. It was both what he was told and what was embedded and what he saw. And he chose to only see what supported his own ideologies and his own uh, 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 embedded ideals. 
Heaven chose us. So where did the pills come from, man? The legendary drug? Where did he get them? Oh, and then he mass produced it. But where did he get it originally from? Because, I mean, without the pills, Horty would have gotten clapped long ago, man. I'm not even underestimating him here. Luffy would have one-shot him. Yeah, they ignored the fishman, that, that district, for too long and let all this evil build up. They just ignored it, never thought it would turn into anything. They do have their sel themselves to blame in, in, in some form or fashion, yeah. Collected signatures from those that weren't hard to from didn't bother changing their minds. It's tough blaming yourself in that scenario, though. Dude, Fishman Island is so good! I don't care what anybody says, man. You start at home. You're change, trying to change other people's minds about you. We need to change your own minds about you. Mm -hmm. It was all bred here. Well, I mean, still humans' faults for, you know, enslaving fishmen and, and being inherently, like, vicious towards fishmen. But I don't know, man. It's like uh, every party could have done better in their own ways. They shouldn't blame themselves that much. He could have only done so much. She knew it? That's why it didn't matter, because it, they, it was still their job to, to work on their own people, try and change the minds. Mm. Man, that, that, her dying words are so layered now. And it was never even a human in the first place that killed her. Bro, Hachan been laying here for like 30 episodes. <laughs> Nothing matters anymore, though. It's either you stop it or you don't. Uh, you're not going to change Horty's mind. He, he'll, he's, he's way too indoctrinated, man. Nothing changes on that front. And if it does, I won't believe it. Reset our history? Mm. Jeez, man. It's terrifying. Reset our history, what? By destroying Noah? Or just by taking care of Horty and all his men? Maybe both. No, because uh, resetting history doesn't mean Noah's destroyed. I think he still needs to protect that. It was still really important to Neptune. Well, it hit! Uh, he's just laying there watching it. Bro, sure, Hoshi been going through it for real. And all the people can hear this. It's the Straw Hat crew. Bam. Ba, 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 ba. It hits! Nice! Good shot! Now, does it stay, though? Will it pop? Pause, champ! Nice! Okay, how much does that slow it down? Yes, sir! Bro, Brooklyn, mean! He's changing a lot of people's perspectives on humans. I mean, most people were relatively okay with it in the first place, but it's, it's mostly like that Fishman district you gotta change, but I'm guessing most of them are here fighting right now. Hey man, listen, you got a bad history with him? I didn't blame you. I never blamed them for not trusting the straw hats. I think it was just the way it went down. They trust them to save it? Guys, listen, the straw hats are good. I would still run. And I think Horty is so hellbent on getting to him now that he will follow him into air. I mean, he's so juicy, he probably thinks there's no chance he loses. Oh, just facing him. Oh, she's swimming that fast back. She let go, he told her to, but still. Luffy, what is your plan, brother? What is that sound? That has nothing to do with wings. He's just shooting bubbles. That's not Subasa. <laughs> Oh, did he just murder him? Oh, he caribou for real. Ah, oh, he inked because he's a, a squid. Oh, it's a, a shadow clone. Squid uh, ink clone. Oh, that's right. He's scared. He curls up. He's scared of fire. He popped out and breathed it. <laughs> Wait to boost. Oh my gosh! Bro has a collar! Buff Chopper is so buff! Bro! Holy Jigga Chad! <laughs> he looks so cursed! Aww. Smiles make me want to slice. Here we go, baby. Finally! Yes! That's him! Oh! Uh, what? What? 
How many blades did he just break? Oh man, it's all happening so fast. It's all going down. This is it, baby. The climax. It's all going down. And we got even... Dude, I, I'm so glad they spent the first half of that episode sort of showing us more about the childhood, even though we already saw it. Because it does reiterate the, the themes and everything and why they're doing it in this exact way. 565, let's go. What is Brooke doing? He's probably invisible under your foot, man. I'm not even gonna lie. Is he... What the? Is he just swimming? No way he gets stepped on again. There's no way, right? That's how he gets stepped on. Oh my God, you're worthless. He looks so cool in for what? For what? Body sword crush. It's incredible. It's, it's literally copium embodied in a fish. He fatted? Uh. What, is it gonna hurt his feelings? <laughs> Bro, the 360 of Brook! <laughs> Hidden foil? Oh my god! Wait, wait! He's living up to his, his appearance! Brook, no! Oh my god, he beheaded him! Wait, what does that mean? For Brook! <laughs> the music! Uh, <laughs> this isn't. I, I don't think this is anywhere near fatal. And he's gonna prove why. Can they reattach his skull? Strong energy. <laughs> Bro, the beheading of Brock. That was beautiful. Just beautiful. A little psychotic, but still. That's actually insane that he beheaded him, though. Like, impressive in its own manner. I take it back, man. But I mean, Brook is still alive. I think he's just gassing up what he's about to do. Yeah. <laughs> he can just move? Oh, it's his soul that keeps him alive, so it doesn't matter. Dude, could, could Brook just be blown up and he'd be perfectly fine? Like, in that sense, that it, his physical being doesn't matter. You would have to literally destroy his soul. <laughs> oh, no. He's going to one-shot him now. As long as his bones don't get damaged. Wait, so... I guess that didn't technically damage his bones. So you would have to, like, crush him, basically. His soul is still embedded in his bones. They sharpened it. Oh, my God, bro. Soul solid. What? Soulful slash? Yo! That is cold! Pun not intended! Ugh, that's my soul king! Bro, all the straw hats have power spikes so hard. It's so sick. Oh my gosh. I lost him. I love this arc, man. I'm having so much fun. Mm -hmm. Nah, for real. They are much more prepared now. Oh, fuck. Oh my gosh. He just turns into a, uh, a ball of fire. I think it's going to be too fast for the slingshot. Dude, green stars are literally just like bullets, like exploding bullets. He can do a lot with just green stars. He's the only one he's shown off so far. <gasps> How dare you? Water seven deuce up? Maybe. Uh-oh. Oh, he struck a nerve. Oh, he struck a goddamn nerve. He knows that's not true anymore. Oh! Wait, what? We cut away? Oh my god, bro. 40's coming! This is there's he's limited in this bubble, man. Dude, he's running right into him. <laughs> it's like he gives Luffy the momentum that he doesn't, he can't get in the bubble. You're a fool, Horty Jones, a fool. It doesn't hurt him. He's too juiced up to feel it. He needs to get to the ship and fight in air. No, you're granted ideals from heaven. No goddamn clue where the pills came from. That's a pretty confident punch, Luffy. Oh, goddamn. Hit him, Luffy! That's gonna hurt, right? Like, it's gonna actually damage him. Second gear armament is nuts. 
Oh, damn. My oh, boy. Again, he's giving Louie the momentum, bro. Oh, my. Oh, my fucking God. Wait, is it actually on fire or is it like a Demon Slayer thing? Like where it's just like for theater. It's actually on fire. What the fuck? Dude, that was sick. I was like, it's like changed to Ace. Re okay, okay, bro. Okay, man. What the hell is that? That is sick. Fire to a fist to. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Okay, that had to have hurt him. A substantial amount. He said one shot. That's all it took. Luffy is so broken now. So busted. And so Horty's down. That's it. He wasn't even joking. Is Horty actually down? Oh my goodness gracious. And, well, I mean, if Horty's actually defeated, you still have the giant nuke headed for the island. Dude, I, I still haven't gotten over this new power, bro. Flames. It's just, he just, well, how does he even use flames? How do flames even like just come out? Man, he should have had this like chain whip out this whole time. It's so cool. Some loser human. Hey, that's the future king of the pirates we're talking about, brother. Hate humans even in death. Bro's holding a grudge into the next life. Yeah. I mean, Arlong literally passed on the grudge. Uh, kill him, Brooke. He's like preaching to these guys. They're starting to realize it, finally. They're just turning on their own men. Yeah, like I said, it, the guy fell! Oh my god, bro. He just murdered him. It's literally, it's it's both hatred they've inherited and their environment. Oh man, what are you saying, child? Oh, but it's showing how easily the young generation, like their minds can be molded. Let them decide on their own how they view history. Yes! Charlie, uh, kind of based. Watch for yourself and decide. Don't be told what to believe. It's beautiful. You decide who is right in history. <laughs> okay, man. And Chopper getting a rumble ball. Mm -hmm. Dang, bro. Charlie, bro, I'm not gonna lie. Your brother just got toasted. Literally. Quite literally. <laughs> this. Yeah, bro, a man of the people! A skeleton of the people! I wanna see more skeleton mask! I wanna see more of this, like, frozen blade, man. <laughs> True. True. Damn. <laughs> bro, it's just like, he's like, is he fencing? <laughs> All the dialogue in this fight has been like half a joke. Yes, sir! Broke a true straw hat, man. He gets it. He more than gets it. It's just trust in Luffy. I feel like Brooks is gonna like one tap this guy. Or we cut away. My god! There's no way he's still going with this. There's no way. Oh, I'm so surprised. He's just standing on him. Wait, now Jinbei's just gonna pop him like a balloon, bro. So two of his blades broke. Wait, what? He's just done? Dog, come on! Come on! Zoro too strong, man. Oh. What? Uh, goop? Goop? A new technique! Aw, oh, shoot. We're just going fight to fight to fight to fight to fight to fight. Is it just gonna show like all the straw hats rolling their enemies? Sour grapes? Oh, shoot, the goggles are on. <laughs> He's losing his edge. Damn! <laughs> now I can actually do the. Oh, wait. No! Oh my gosh! He's back in monster! Yo! He just does it now? Yes! Oh my gosh! That's the rumble ball form. He literally just rumble balls in his monster form. But it's still Chopper. I think he's actually in control now. He's in control still. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh! 
Oh my goodness. My boy is all grown up. Oh, Horty. Oh. Nah, he's still up. I didn't think one shot would take him down. He's probably in rough shape though. No. Is he taking more? There's no way. I mean, I guess he's like on the brink. Bro, that punch broke his mental. Oh, he can actually breathe here. Oh, shoot. Bro's gobbling him. He's just gonna explode. Like actually. You gotta hand it to him as a villain though. You get knocked that hard, you just straight up keep chomping those bad boys down. My God, dude, that punch from Luffy. Again, again, I'm pretty sure it's not like Demon Slayer where it's not just like for looks. I think he actually hit him with fire. Red Hawk. That is so sick, man. Oh my goodness. So it's the armament hockey plus gear two that just creates this fight. I don't know. I'm guessing we'll get somewhat of an explanation behind that or we won't. And I'll just wonder how he does it the entire time. But that is an insane reveal for that. For the hit against Horty Jones too. My goodness, bro. The whole Straw Hat crew. I love that line, especially from Usopp too, where he said he used to bluff and now he can actually do the stuff that he lied about. Defeat the enemies he used to lie about defeating. He truly is him now. My goodness gracious. Overall, dude, this, this arc is just, I love it so much. The theme the fights, getting to guess what the Straw Hats are going to do, all the reveals and whatnot based on their new powers. It's just bam, 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 firing on all cylinders. I'm very curious to see what exactly Horty Jones does because I think there's a lot of ways they could go with him in terms of his powers and completely overdosing. I hope it's just some uh, gargantuan, ridiculous, over-obsessed, like self-obsessed power, kind of like Gecko Moria when he absorbed every single shadow and it just, he couldn't even contain it. I have a feeling that's going to go a similar route with, with Horty Jones. Oh, look, Gecko Moria survived and God knows how. But guys, that has been it for my reaction today. I hope you did enjoy. Drop a fat sub on the channel if you're new and I'll see you next time. Peace, peace.